Okay, so this is not the way I was planning on fishing, but this just looks too perfect for a square meal right now. This is November 4th, I believe. We're up to Hawassi, water temp 60 degrees. We're gonna catch some giants. That's just a little one, but I came over that limb and I felt it pause. And then I just kind of set the hook on it by accident and then watched him come out and eat it. So it's just a little one. Might be on wood today though. Giant chickamauga bass. Okay, so that, I just saw that, I felt that fish bite, and then like two seconds later, it came up and jumped, and it was like a two pound. That was weird. I forgot how much I like seeing that. You know, I fish tournaments a lot, so you don't get to, like, just go fish whatever bait you want to. But I forgot how much I love just watching a chatterbait come back and watching one roll on. Got him that time. And the first time I set the hook on sight. That time I waited till I felt him, then pulled on him. Look how white he is, man. This, this water stained back here. The fish are solid white. So we're back out here on this main river now. And you can see the big rock bluff and some log jams right here. And everything around me is like super flat, super light. And clay mud banks. Then right here, there's all this bluff, bluff rock. So that's like the only good cover for like two miles. So it's a super high percentage area. These little ones, but I love catching them on the square bill too. I, I love catching them a lot of different ways, but whenever you really get dialed in with that square bill, you can feel it like every single rock. And then you hit, like, oh, that was a piece of wood. And when you get a bite, you just never second guess it. I, I love getting dialed in on the square bill. Literally the next cast. A little better one here. He hit on that a little bit deeper. That black tail. Well, that one hit it like a freaking freight train. I'm gonna smoke it. And skin hook. Little one.
he ate it good. Still a little one, but we're still in that one bank that I said was high percentage. Like we've been 15 minutes probably, we've been caught like five, maybe six, I don't know. But you take a place like this that's a super high percentage area and put it with one of the best fall baits of all time and you catch fish. That was awesome. It's very important to pay attention always when you're fishing. And this is just a little one, but I was watching my bait and as soon as it hit that limb, I watched this fish roll on it. He just never got it at all. So I made the same exact cast. As soon as he got down there, he ate it. I mean, it was just awesome. I, this water's so clear, you can see them like that. I'm glad they're at least biting, but it's just a little one, but that was still really, really cool to watch. Okay, so I just got home. You know, the square bill I throw on the same rise of DT6, I throw it on a seven foot medium cranking. I do use 12 pound fluorocarbon instead of 10 on a square bill. It has a little bit bigger hooks, so you actually can get away with setting the hook a little because the hooks are bigger diameter. You're not going to rip holes, you're not going to bend hooks. So I use 12, sometimes even 15. I'm fishing around some really shallow, nasty stuff. I'll throw 15 pound fluorocarbon. And then I set the hook pretty hard on that. And then uh, on the chatterbait, I throw 20 pound fluorocarbon. And I only had a few bites on it today, but I did catch some. So if you like that, leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe.